Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Clinton Victory Election Series. Today we'll be going through the 2028 primary season as multiple candidates vie for their party's opportunity to become the nominee. Looking on the Republican side of the national polling, Joni Ernst, the vice president to Donald Trump, is currently sitting at 21%. And second is former Governor of Florida Ron DeSantis at 20%. And third is Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who sits at 8%. Former Governor of South Carolina Nikki Haley sits at 7%. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley is at 6%. Secretary of State under Donald Trump Mike Pompeo is at 6%. Secretary of Health and Human Resources Ben Carson, he's at 6%. Governor Andy Ogles, he's at 6%. Attorney General under Donald Trump Bob McDonald, he is at 6%. Tom Cotton, the senator from Arkansas, is at 5%. Daniel Cameron, the governor of Kentucky, he's at 5%. Senator from Wyoming, Liz Cheney, sits at 4%. Larry Elder, radio host, is sitting at 1%. Congressman Matt Gates of Florida is at 1%. New York Congressman Mark Molinaro at 1%. And Texas Congressman Dan Crenshaw at the bottom of the pack. Taking a look on the Democrat side of things, Governor of New York Kathy Hochul has a 14% lead, a very narrow lead or a very narrow number, a very small number, despite the fact that she is leading in the Democrat primary, it really shows how divided the field is. Gretchen Whitmer, the former governor of Michigan, is at 9%. South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg at 7%. Joe Kennedy the third, the senator out of Massachusetts, he's at 7%. Oregon Senator Steve Novick at 7%. Rhode Island Senator Matt Brown, 7%. California Governor Kevin Paprath at 7%. Ohio Governor John Cranley at 7%. Former Governor of California, Gavin Newsom, at 6%. The Governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, at 5%. New York Congresswoman, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, at 5%. Minnesota Senator, Amy Klobuchar, at 4%. New Jersey Senator, Cory Booker, at 3%. California Businessman, Joe Sandberg, at 2%. California Senator, Kevin DeLeon, at 2%. Arizona Senator, Ruben Gallego, at 1%. Colorado Senator, John Hickenlooper, at 1%. Colorado Senator, Mike Hick Michael, ugh, I can't speak. Michael Bennett at 1%. Washington Governor Bob Ferguson at 1%. California Congressman Rudy Salas at 1%. North Carolina Congresswoman Deborah Ross at 1%. DC Mayor Muriel Bowser at 1%. And Mike Navarre, can say Alaska Mayor. And out of the Iowa Republican primary, we now get started. Joni Ernst, no surprise here, she is winning her home state's primary, the first in the nation, technically. As she, went, as she is sitting at the top of the mountain at 27% out of her home state. Pretty low considering, it. like I said, it is her home state. Ron DeSantis at 18%. Ted Cruz at 16%. This is where the delegate cutoff is. So these three will win delegates. Nikki Haley is at 9%. Josh Hawley at 8%. Ben Carson at 6%. Mike Pompeo at 4%. Andy Ogles at 2%. And the rest of the field all at 1%. Joni Ernst will be walking away winning 17 delegates. Ron DeSantis will win 12, and Ted Cruz will win 11. And here is the county map out of Iowa's Republican primary. Now over on the Democrat side, Pete Buttigieg will make a shock victory out of the Iowa primary, winning 18% of the vote. Gretchen Whitmer, the other candidate who will be winning delegates, is at 16%. Steve Novick is at 14%. Joe Kennedy is at 12%. Kathy Hochul at 8%. John Cranley at 6%, Josh Shapiro at 5%, Matt Brown at 4%, and the rest of the field at 1%. Pete Buttigieg will be walking away with 21 delegates, and Gretchen Whitmer will walk away with 20. And here is the county map on your screen now. Ohio Governor John Cranley has announced that he'll be withdrawing from the 2028 primary race as he looks to endorse Pete Buttigieg for the nomination. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro will be ending his campaign for president as he will endorse Gretchen Whitmer for the nomination. Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar is suspending her 2028 campaign and she will be endorsing Pete Buttigieg, which is a bit shocking. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley has announced he will be withdrawing from the Republican primary and will be endorsing Ron DeSantis for the nomination. A very bucking of the trend is typically people will be backing the vice president, but it's different here. Secretary Ben Carson has ended his 2028 campaign and continuing the bucking of trends. Instead of endorsing, you know, his boss's underling, Joni Aaron Steele will be endorsing her opponent, Ron DeSantis, instead. Secretary Mike Pompeo was also ending his campaign, but unlike the other two, he will be endorsing Joni Aaron's keeping with tradition. 
at a New Hampshire Republican primary. Ted Cruz will be the projected winner. Big shock here. Many thought Joni Ernst was going to pick up the victory, but no. Ted Cruz will walk away with 25% of the vote. Joni Ernst at 18%. Ron DeSantis at 13%. Nikki Haley at 9%. Andy Ogles at 8%. Bob McDonald at 7%. Daniel Cameron at 6%. Tom Cotton at 4%. Liz Cheney at 3%. Mark Molinar at 2% and the rest of the field at 1%. And here are the delegate count out of New Hampshire. Ted Cruz walking away with 12 delegates and Joni Ernst walking away with 10. Here's the county map on your screen now. Out of New Hampshire's primary. This one could have went, could have went either way. Kathy Hochul or Joe Kennedy, but it seems like Hochul will be making a narrow victory here as she wins 20% of the vote. Joe Kennedy at 17% and Steve Novick at 15%. Pete Buttigieg at 12% who many expected him to break 15% due to his victory in Iowa, but that's not happening here. Gretchen Whitmer at 9%, Matt Brown at 6%, AOC at 5%, Cory Booker at 2%, and the rest of the field at 1%. And here is the delegate count at New Hampshire. Kathy Hochul will be winning 9 delegates, Kennedy will be winning 8, and Novick wins 7. Here's the county map on your screen now. Rhode Island Senator Matt Brown has announced he'll be ending his 2028 campaign and he'll be endorsing Joe Kennedy, which is a bit weird considering Steve Novick is the more progressive candidate in the race. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker is also withdrawing from the 2028 primary. This, these are pretty switched because many people would thought Booker was going to endorse Kennedy like Brown did, but instead Booker is endorsing Novick, which is a bit interesting to see. New York Congresswoman AOC has ended her long shot, long shot campaign and she will be endorsing Steve Novick. No surprise here. May, excuse me. Mayor Mike Navarre has ended his failed campaign. Did not get any traction at all. He will be endorsing Steve Novick. Another shocker. Many expected him to endorse Pete Buttigieg or Joe Kennedy. D.C. Mayor Mueller Bowser has announced she will be withdrawing from the 2828 field. And she will be endorsing Kathy Hochul, which surprises a lot of people. Not us, personally, but it does surprise some people. New York Congressman Mark Molinara has ended his 2028 campaign. And he will be endorsing Joni Ernst for the Republican nomination. At a Nevada's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner as he will go on to win 26% of the vote. Ted Cruz is at 22%. Joni Ernst at 16%. Nikki Haley at 9%. Bob McDonald at 7%. Andy Ogles at 6%. Daniel Cameron at 5%. Tom Cotton at 3%. And the rest of the field at 1%. Taking a look at the delegate count now. Ron DeSantis will be walking away with 10 delegates. Ted Cruz with 8. And Joni Ernst with 7. Here's the county map on your screen now. Joni Ernst doing very well in Carson's, around the Carson City area. Out of the Nevada primary on the Democrat side, Steve Novick making a shocking victory out of the state of Nevada. Many thought Kathy Hochul had this in the bag, but no, Novick will narrowly eke out a victory at 19%. Kathy Hochul will be at 16%. Kennedy is at 13%. Whitmer at 11 Buttigieg at 8 Papreth at 5 Newsom at 2 and the rest of the field at 1% each. Steve Novick will be walking away with 19 delegates while Hochul will get the remaining 17. And here is your county map on screen now. Looks very, very identical to a uh, typical presidential map. We'll not talk about that, though. California Governor Kevin Paprath has ended his 2028 campaign. And as expected, he will be endorsing Joe Kennedy. The third, these two have been talking about it for a couple weeks. But Paprath is backing Kennedy for the nomination. And the other former governor of California, well, he was a current, but this was the former, Gavin Newsom is ending his campaign. Many thought he was going to endorse Hochul, but instead he is endorsing Whitmer, a fellow former governor. Joe Sandberg is ending his failed campaign as he will be endorsing Steve Novick, the main progressive in the race right now. Arizona Senator Ruben Gallego is ending his long shot campaign as he is endorsing Steve Novick. Very bizarre that a statewide candidate like Ruben Gallego couldn't get more than 1% nationwide, but oh well. Colorado Senator John, speaking of which, John Hickenlooper has announced he'll be withdrawing from the 2028 Democrat primary as he'll be endorsing Pete Buttigieg. California Senator Kevin DeLeon, the three big California candidates are ending their campaigns one after another, but this one is endorsing Kennedy, a kind of surprising since DeLeon is a staunch progressive. Co another California Democrat is announcing their end to the their 2028 campaign, this time Rudy Salas as he endorses Joe Kennedy. Washington Governor Bob Ferguson is announcing that it will be ending his 2028 campaign, and as expected, he'll be endorsing Kathy Hochul. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett is withdrawing from the Democrat primary as he, like his fellow senator from Colorado, is endorsing Pete Buttigieg, which should help him on Super Tuesday in that state. 
Larry Elder will be suspending his 2028 campaign as he is endorsing Ted Cruz. Not surprising, really. Many people expected Ron DeSantis, but it's really not surprising he's endorsing a libertarian in Ted Cruz. Wyoming Senator Liz Cheney has announced that she'll be ending her 2028 campaign, and for some reason, she's endorsing Dan Crenshaw. At a South Carolina's primary, Nikki Haley will be the projected winner. No surprise here. She is the former governor of the state. She will walk away with 34% of the vote. Ron DeSantis at 20%. Ted Cruz at 14. Ernst at 10. Ogles at 8. Daniel Cameron at 6. Bob McDonald at 2. And the rest of the field at 1. Nikki Haley will be walking away with 29 delegates while Ron DeSantis grabs the other 21. And here is the map on your screen now. On the Democrat side of things, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner in the state. No surprise here, as she will win 35% of the vote out of South Carolina. Gretchen Whitmer at 22%. Steve Novick doing pretty well for a progressive candidate. He's at 18%. Joe Kennedy the third at 12%. Pete Buttigieg at 9%. His minority appeal is garbage, and this proves it. Deborah Ross at 1%. And here's the delegate allocation. Kathy Hochul wins 24 delegates, Whitmer wins 16, and Novick wins 14. And here is the county map on your screen now. North Carolina Congresswoman Deborah Ross is ending her 2028 campaign as she will be endorsing Kathy Hochul for the Democrat nomination. Tennessee Governor Andy Ogles is suspending his 2028 campaign and he will be endorsing Ron DeSantis for the nomination. Kentucky Governor Daniel Cameron withdrawing from the Republican primary after failing to gain traction in any of the first four primary states will be endorsing Ron DeSantis for the nomination. Attorney General Bob McDonnell is announcing that he will be withdrawing from the 2028 campaign and continuing with this trend of Trump officials not supporting Ernst, the vice president, he will be endorsing Ron DeSantis. Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton will be ending his 2028 campaign and he'll be backing Joni Ernst to give her a bit more momentum. Florida Congressman Matt Gates is ending his campaign as well as he will be joining on the DeSantis train. Texas Congressman Dan Crenshaw, who just got an amazing endorsement from Melissa Cheney too. Man, that sucks. He is endorsing Nikki Haley for the nomination. And here's the delegate count walking out of the first four primary states. Ron DeSantis leads the Republican field at 43 delegates. Joni Ernst is at 34 delegates. Ted Cruz at 31 and Nikki Haley at 29. Over on the Democrat side of things, Kathy Hochul leads the field over there at 50 delegates. Steve Novick's 10 behind at 40. Whitmer's at 36. Buttigieg at 21. And Kennedy's at 8. Out of Alabama, we're not Super Tuesday. Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner. He will go on to win 34% of the vote here. Ted Cruz is at 28%. Haley at 22%. And Ernst at 16%. DeSantis will win 17 delegates. Cruz with 15. Haley with 11. And Ernst with 9. And here is the county map on your screen now. Out of the Alabama primary on the Democrat side of things, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner over here. Ashu wins 36% of the vote. Whitmer at 23%. Novig at 17%. Kennedy at 13%. And Buttigieg at 9%. Hochul will be walking away with 23 delegates. Whitmer at 16 and Novik with 13. Here's the county map on your screen now. Over in American Samoa's Democrat primary, Joe Kennedy will make a shock victory over here. It's probably due to his name recognition, the Kennedy name, as he will go on to win 33% of the vote out of American Samoa. Steve Novick at 16% and Kathy Hochul at 15%. The rest of the candidates don't win any delegates. As Kennedy wins three, Novick wins two, and Hochul wins one. Out of American Samoa on the Republican side of things, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner. No surprise here. She wins 55% of the vote, and since she broke... 50%. She'll be winning all nine of American Samoa's pledge delegates. Over on the Arkansas Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner as he will go on to win 32% of the vote. Ted Cruz at 27%, Nikki Haley at 22%, and Joni Ernst at 17%. As of course, DeSantis will win 13, Cruz will win 11, Haley will win 9, and Ernst will win 7 delegates. Here's the county map on your screen. Out of Arkansas's Democrat primary, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner here. She will walk away winning 38% of the vote. Whitmer at 22% and, no and Novick at 16. The rest of the candidates don't make the cut. Hochul will be winning 15 delegates. Whitmer 9 and Novick 7. Here's the county map on your screen. Out of California's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner as she goes on to win 33% of the vote. DeSantis will win 27%, Cruz 23%, and Haley 23%. 15%. Ernst will be walking away with 55 delegates, DeSantis 48, Cruz 40, and Haley 26. Here's the county map on your screen. Out of California's primary, Steve Novick. We didn't know how much poll Oregon 
would have in this primary, but it seems like it has a lot as Novik will be the projected winner, winning 29% of the vote, just enough to make it through. Pete Buttigieg at 24%, Joe Kennedy at 19%, Kathy Hochul at 15%. Novik will be walking away with a huge load of 135 delegates. Buttigieg will win 114, Kennedy wins 91, and Hochul wins 75. And here's the county map on your screen now. Out of Colorado's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner here, winning 35% of the vote. As you can see on your screen now, all four candidates will be winning delegates. DeSantis wins 13, Cruz wins 10, Ernst 8, and Haley 6. And here's the county map on your screen now. Over on the Democrat side of things, we talked about this earlier, but Hickenlooper and Bennett's poll really helps Pete Buttigieg here as he is the projected winner in Colorado, winning 28% of the vote, Kennedy at 22%. Novak at 20%. Buttigieg will be walking away with 26 delegates. Kennedy wins 21, and Novak wins 20. Here's the county map on your screen now. Out of Maine's Republican primary, Ted Cruz will be the project winner as he will go into Maine and win 36% of the total votes. Every candidate outside of Nikki Haley will be winning delegates. Ted Cruz wins 9, Ernst wins 8, and DeSantis wins 5. Those delegates out of Maine. Here's the county map now. Out of Maine's Democrat primary, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner. She goes on to win 29% of the vote out of Maine. Hochul will be winning eight delegates out of Maine. Kennedy will be winning seven, Novik five, and Buttigieg four. And here's the county map on your screen now. Out of Massachusetts primary, Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner as she will go on to win 34% of the vote out of Massachusetts. And she will also carry out 16 delegates with her. Ted Cruz with 14 and DeSantis with 11. Here's the county map on your screen now. And no surprise here, Joe Kennedy III will be winning his home state Democrat primary. No surprise here, as he wins 43% of the vote, Hochul at 18%, meaning Kennedy will win 57 delegates and she'll win 34. And here's the county map on your screen now, Kennedy winning every single delegate, or every single county. Out of Minnesota's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner here. She will go on to win 38% of the vote here. And now every candidate outside of Nikki Haley will be winning delegates here. As Joni Ernst wins 17, DeSantis wins 13, and Ted Cruz wins 9. Here's the county map on your screen now. And in Minnesota's Democrat primary, Pete Buttigieg will be the projected winner. May trying to make a comeback, it seems, as he will win 26% of the total vote here. Very close to Whitmer's 24%. But Pete Buttigieg will win 23 delegates, Whitmer wins 21, Novick wins 16, and Kennedy wins 15. Here's the county map on your screen. Out of North Carolina's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner as he will go on to win 33% of the vote here. And will go on to win 24 delegates, Haley wins 19, Cruz wins 16, and Ernst wins 12. And here's the county map on your screen now. Out of North Carolina's Democrat primary, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner. She will go on to win 37% of the total vote out of North Carolina and win 49 delegates with her as Whitmer will take 33 and Novick wins 28. And out of North Carolina's county map, it's on your screen now. Out of Oklahoma's Republican primary, Ted Cruz is the projected winner. He will go on to win 37% of the vote. It is neighboring Texas, so this shouldn't be a surprise. Cruz is walking away with 18 delegates, DeSantis 15, and Haley 10. Here's the county map on your screen. Out of Oklahoma's Democrat primary, Steve Novick will be the projected winner as he will go on to win 29% of the vote out of Oklahoma, winning 14 delegates. Kennedy wins 13 and Hochul wins 10. County map on your screen. Out of Tennessee's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner as he will go on to win 32% of the total vote out of Tennessee, granting him a 19 delegates. Cruz wins 16, Haley wins 13, and Ernst wins 10. And here's the county map on your screen. At a Tennessee's Democrat primary, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner as she will win 31% of the total vote here. And she'll also walk away with 25 delegates to back her up, 21 delegates for Whitmer, and 18 for Steve Novick. Here's the county map. At a Texas primary, no surprise here, Ted Cruz will be the projected winner out of Texas Republican primary, winning 45% of the votes, so close to that huge batch of delegates he could have had all to himself. But he'll be winning 78 delegates instead, while DeSantis wins 44 and Haley wins the remaining 33. County map now. Out of Democrats' Texas primary, Steve Novick will be the projected winner, a big win for him, as he will win 28% of the total vote out of Texas. 
Steve Novick will be winning 65 delegates. Hochul wins 52. Whitmer 39. Kennedy 37. And Buttigieg 35. County map. Out of Utah, Republican primary, Ted Cruz will be the projected winner. No surprise here. A lot of Mormon support behind him. Cruz winning 35% of the total vote out of Utah. Maybe not. As he only wins 14 delegates. DeSantis wins 11. Haley wins 8. And Ernst wins 7. Out of Utah's Democrat primary, Steve Novick is the projected winner. So he will go on to win 27% of the vote out of Utah and win 11 delegates. Joe Kennedy wins 10 and Pete Buttigieg wins 8. County map on your screen now. Out of Vermont's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner. She will go on to win 41% of the total vote. A big win for her. That is 8 delegates for her, 6 for Cruz, and 3 for Ron DeSantis. And here's the county map on your screen now. Out of Vermont's Democrat primary, kind of a shock here. Many people expected Hochul or Novick to win, but not Kennedy, as he will end up winning 37% of the vote out of Vermont and seven delegates. Hochul wins five and Novick wins four. Here's the county map on your screen now. Out of Virginia's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner as she will go on to win 34% of the vote out of Virginia, winning 19 delegates, while Haley wins 17 and DeSantis wins 13. County map on your screen now. Out of Virginia's Democrat primary, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner as she will go on to win 30% of the vote as well as 33 delegates. Whitmer will win 27, Novick 22, and Kennedy at 17. Here's the county map on your screen now. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley has announced she'll be withdrawing from the 2028 Republican primary race after a poor performance on Super Tuesday, not winning a single primary contest, and she announced she will be backing Vice President Joni Ernst for the nomination. Similar news out of the Democrat side of things, as former governor of Michigan Gretchen Whitmer is announcing she'll be ending her campaign as well, but she'll be endorsing Kathy Hochul on her side. Here's the delegate count for the Republican primary. Ron DeSantis still leads the pack, 293 elect or delegates, excuse me. Ted Cruz is at 285, and Joni Ernst at 221. For the vice president, her being a third is a bit of a problem. Now taking a look on the Democrat side of things, Steve Novick has taken the lead. He's at 400 delegates. Kathy Hochul's at 380. Joe Kennedy at 286. And Pete Buttigieg at 231. Out of the Democrats abroad primary, Joe Kennedy III will be the projected winner here as he will win 46% of the total vote here, winning seven delegates. Novick wins four and Hochul wins two. Out of Idaho's Republican primary, Ted Cruz will be the projected winner as he wins 40% of the vote. Walking away with 13 delegates while DeSantis wins 12 and Ernst wins 7. Here's the county map on your screen now. Out of Idaho's Democrat primary, Steve Novick will be the projected winner as he goes on to win 35% of the vote there and 7 delegates. Kennedy wins 6, Buttigieg wins 4, and Hochul wins 3. County map on your screen now. Out of Michigan's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner here. No surprise here, she does have that Rust Belt approval, I guess. She, as she wins 46% of the total vote. Ron DeSantis at 32% and Ted Cruz at 20%. Ernst will be walking away with 34 delegates. DeSantis at 24 and Cruz will win 15. County map on your screen now. Out of Michigan's Democrat primary, Pete Buttigieg will be the projected winner as he will win 36% of the vote to lead the candidates. He has he will win 50 delegates. Hochul wins 48 and Novick wins 27. County map on your screen now. Out of Mississippi's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner. So he will go on to win 38% of the total vote out of Mississippi and 15 delegates. While Cruz wins 13 and Ernst wins 11. Out of Mississippi's Democrat primary, Kathy Hochul will be the projected winner there as well. As she will win 33% of the vote there as well as 12 delegates. Novick winning 10, Kennedy at 8, and Buttigieg at 6. At the Missouri's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner as he will go on to win 40% of the vote out of Missouri, as well as 22 delegates, while Ernst wins 19 and Cruz wins 13 delegates. At the Missouri's Republican uh, Democrat primary, excuse me, Steve Novick will be the projected winner as he will go on to win 32% of the vote out of Missouri, as well as 22 delegates, while Buttigieg wins 9, Kennedy wins 15, and Ho Kathy Hochul wins 12. County map on your screen now. Out of North Dakota's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner as she will go on to win 44% of the vote there, as well as 13 delegates. Cruz will pick off 11, and DeSantis wins 5. County map on your screen now. 
Steve Novak will be the projected winner on the Democrat side of things for the North Dakota as he will go on to win 35% of the vote there, as well as six delegates. Kennedy wins five and Buttigieg wins three. County map on your screen now. Out of Washington's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner here as she will go on to win 40% of the vote here, as well as 18 delegates. DeSantis wins 15 and Cruz wins 11. County map on your screen now. Out of Washington's Democrat primary, Steve Novick will be the projected winner on his side of things. Oregon really helping him out real a lot here as he will go on to win 31% of the vote as well as 28 delegates while Kennedy wins 26, Buttigieg at 21, and Hochul at 14. County map on your screen now. And here's the delegate count after Super Tuesday 2. Ron DeSantis at 386 delegates, Ted Cruz at 361, and Joni Ernst at 323. Pretty much no change out of the, on the Republican side of things. Have it on the Democrat side of things? Not really. As Steve Novick's lead is at 504, uh, Kathy Hochul is 471, Joe Kennedy at 353, and Pete Buttigieg at 334. Out of the Northern Mariana Islands Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner here. No surprise, as she will win 44% of the vote. Ted Cruz wins 33%, and Ron DeSantis wins 22%. Ernst will walk away with four delegates, Cruz at three, and DeSantis at two. Now, on the Democrat side of things, Joe Kennedy will be the projected winner here as he will go on to win 50% of the vote out of Northern Mariana Islands, as he will go on to win four delegates while Novick and Hochul both win one apiece. Out of Arizona's Republican primary, Ted Cruz will be the projected winner here as he will go on to win 42% of the total vote out of Arizona, as well as 24 delegates while DeSantis wins 20 and Joni Ernst wins 13 delegates. Here's the map on your screen now. Out of Arizona's Democrat primary, Steve Novick will be the projected winner as he will go on to win 41% of the vote, a very big win for him out of Arizona, as well as 31 delegates. Hochul wins 20 and Kennedy wins 16. Here's the county map on your screen now. Out of Florida's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner. He will easily win his home state, winning 68% of the vote out of Florida, as well as every single one of the delegates, 122 to be exact, winning every single county in the process. Out of Florida's Democrat primary, Steve Novick will be the projected winner here. However, he does lose minorities to Kathy Hochul, by the way. He loses Hispanics and Blacks out of Florida, and it's white suburbs as well as white class voters that put him over the edge here at 44%. As he goes on to win 104 delegates, Kathy Hochul wins 73, and Pete Buttigieg wins 42. Here's the map on your screen now. Out of Illinois' Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner as she will go on to win 41% of the vote here, as well as 28 delegates, Ted Cruz at 24, and Ron DeSantis at 15. County map on your screen now, DeSantis doing best in Chicago land. Out of Illinois' Democrat primary, Steve Novick will be the projected winner as he goes on to win 33% of the vote, very narrow here, as well as 59 delegates, Kathy Oak wins 56, and Buttigieg wins 40. Here's the county map on your screen now. Mayor Pete Buttigieg has announced he'll be withdrawing from the Democrat primary as he will be endorsing Steve Novick for the nomination. Massachusetts Senator Joe Kennedy was also announced that he'll be endorsing Steve Novick and withdrawing as well as New York Governor Kathy Hochul. These three had a terrible performance on Super Tuesday 3, and it was just common knowledge that all three were going to back out and endorse Novick. Really, there was not that much division in the Democrat primary despite, you know, giving Novick the nod. Over on the Republican side of things, Ron DeSantis at 538 delegates, Ted Cruz at 412, and Joni Ernst at 375. No change here. Out of Wisconsin Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner. She goes on to win 44% of the vote here, winning 23 delegates, while DeSantis wins 17 and Cruz wins 12. Here's the county map on your screen now. DeSantis doing best amongst the white working class voters, while Ernst is better with the suburban voters. Out of Alaska's Republican primary, Ted Cruz will win here. No surprise here. A very libertarian state voting for the most libertarian option. 46% to Ted Cruz. He goes on to win 13 delegates. So close to that 50% threshold, he just couldn't snatch it. Ernst at 9 delegates and DeSantis at 6. Cruz is at... I'm sorry, but here's the county map. Out of Wyoming's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner here. No surprise. He goes on to win 44% of the vote. Ted Cruz at 31% and Ernst at 24%. Here's the county map on your screen now. If that's weird, do I not have a... There it is. DeSantis at 13 delegates, Cruz at 9, and Ernst at 7. County map once again. Out of Ohio's Republican primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner. She goes on to win 40% of the vote here, as well as 33 delegates, while DeSantis takes 28 and Cruz wins 21. County map on your screen now. 
the Steve Nova campaign has released their names of their top choices to become his running mate. That includes Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey, North Carolina Governor Robert Reeves, and California Congressman Rudy Salas. Very unique choice of characters, if you ask me. Let's see who he chooses. Insiders are saying he's very lenient on choosing Reeves, but wants someone a bit more progressive, so Masto seems to be the compromise pick going forward. Here is the delegate count after Super Tuesday 4, I believe. Actually, just April primaries. Ron DeSantis is still leading 602. Ted Cruz at 467. However, Ernst has, uh, you know, she's picked up some steam now at 447. Only 20 behind second place. Out of Kansas Republican primary, Ted Cruz will be the projected winner. He goes on to win 46% of the vote here, as well as 18 delegates, while Ernst picks up 12 and DeSantis wins 9 county map. Out of Nebraska's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner winning 41% of the vote out of Nebraska, as well as 15 delegates. Cruz wins 11, and Ernst wins 10. Out of Oregon's Republican primary, Joni Ernst is the projected winner here, winning 46% of the vote, as well as 13 delegates. Well, DeSantis wins 8, and Ted Cruz wins 7. Out of Hawaii's Republican primary, Joni Ernst is the projected winner, going on to win 52% of the vote, meaning she will take home every single delegate to herself, county map. And... Big news out of the Nova campaign. Maura Healy, the governor of Massachusetts, honestly the last person we expected him to pick, but Maura Healy is being selected as Steve Novick's running mate, making this honestly the most progressive ticket in recent memory with the shortest Democrat nominee and the, I believe, the first lesbian Democrat running mate. I believe so. Quote me if I'm wrong. Now, the delegate count out of the Republican primary, Ron DeSantis at 634 delegates, Ted Cruz at 503, and Joni Ernst closing the gap even more at 501. Out of DC's primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner, winning 73% of the vote. Big landslide for her as she wins all 19 delegates. Out of Indiana's Republican primary, she, Ernst is the projected winner, winning 50% of the vote winning all 70 delegates at the end of the day. Out of Maryland's Republican primary, Ted Cruz will be the projected winner, winning 39% of the vote and 15 delegates, while Ernst wins 13 and DeSantis wins 10 delegates. Out of Montana's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner, winning 40% of the vote and 11 delegates. Cruz wins 9 and Ernst will win 7 delegates. Out of New Mexico's Republican primary, Ted Cruz is the projected winner, winning 50% of the vote, meaning he will walk away with all 22 delegates. Hooray, he did it! Just two states too late county map on your screen now out of pennsylvania's republican primary joni ernst is the projected winner she will go on to win 50 percent of the vote meaning she will win all 88 delegates out of pennsylvania that's a big win for her as the republican primary in rhode island will be going to Ron DeSantis as he goes on to win 42 percent of the vote here as well as eight delegates while ernst picks up six and cruz wins five delegates out of South Dakota's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be walking away with 44 delegates and or 44 percent and 13 delegates. Don't get those twisted. Ted Cruz at nine delegates and Ernst at seven. Counting them up on your screen. And here is the delegate count at the end of May, I believe. Jody Ernst has taken the lead. The May primaries have helped her. She's now at 711 delegates, while DeSantis at 676 and Ted Cruz at 563. Out of Guam's Republican primary, Joni Ernst is the projected winner. She'll go on to win 44% of the vote here, as well as four delegates, while Cruz wins three and DeSantis wins two. Out of the Virgin Islands, same story here. 44% victory for Joni Ernst, 4-3-2. Out of Georgia's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner, as he will go on to win 38% of the vote out of Georgia, as well as 29 delegates, while Cruz wins 26 and Ernst wins 21 delegates. Out of West Virginia's Republican primary, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner as he goes on to win 38% of the vote here, as well as 13 delegates. Cruz wins 12 and Ernst wins 9 delegates. And here's the delegate count. Ernst still has her lead at 749, DeSantis at 722, and Ted Cruz at 607. It pretty much looks like Ted Cruz is being left in the dust. This is a two-way race between Ernst and DeSantis. Out of Kentucky, Ron DeSantis will be the projected winner there as he goes on to win 39% of the vote and 18 delegates while Cruz wins 16 and Ernst wins 12 delegates. Out of New York's primary, Joni Ernst will be the projected winner. She will go on to win 45% of the vote here as well as 43 delegates while the Saints wins 33 and Ted Cruz wins 19 delegates. Texas Senator Ted Cruz has announced they will be withdrawing from the 2028 Republican primary race. They'll be endorsing Joni Ernst. He has made pleas with Ron DeSantis to also do so in the name of party unity. 
And here's the delegate count. Joni Ernst is at a 804 to 773 delegate lead. So hopeful, like this might end up going to a contested convention. We'll just have to wait and find out. Out of Delaware, Joni Ernst is the project winner. She will win here by massive margin, winning all of their delegates. Out of New Jersey, Joni Ernst is the project winner. She gets a six-point victory here. And with that, Ron DeSantis has said, it's enough. He's hanging up the gloves. He is withdrawing from the 2028 primary race. It was kind of sad that he lost New Jersey, considering he had a lot of appeal to the white working class there. And that was pretty much the nail in his coffin as he is dropping out and endorsing Joni Ernst. But he is taking himself out of the VP sweepstakes. And the GOP and four GOP senators are revealed to be on Joni Ernst's VP shortlist. Montana Senator Matt Rosendale, Idaho Senator Russ Fulcher, South Dakota Senator Bruce Whalen, as well as Wyoming Senator Eric Prince. It very much looks like she's trying to w bring in rural voters, trying to bring in the Trump voters who aren't, you know, too keen to her. So honestly, any of these could be her top choice. And Joni Ernst has selected Matt Rosendale as her vice presidential nominee. No surprise here, though there were better candidates. Bruce Whalen was right there. But Joni Ernst will be selecting Matt Rosadell as her VP. And here is the final Republican primary map. As you can see, it's all clusterfucked all over the place. And here is the Democrat primary map. Some orange, some blue, but it's mostly purple, which represents Steve Novick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Chaotic One saying, peace.